All right, so I'm back. I apologize if my AC is loud because I'm really, really hot. And the thing that I was wearing earlier, it was just too fucking hot. So I um, went ahead and put on a shirt that I washed today. It's still kind of wet, but it's only at the bottom. So I'm pretty comfortable. Also made some more poop water, hot poop water. It's delicious. So the thing that I was thinking about earlier this week and I wanted to talk about was coming out because coming out day was someday earlier this week, the 11th, um, <clears throat> was that Tuesday? And, um, I don't know. I had a lot of friends who came out, uh, not so much coming, like, cause y you have the people that actually did come out like this, like this is news to everyone. And then you had the people that more like clarified what their sexuality and gender and all that stuff, like what that shit, what shit is going on with them. Um, and so most of my friends, it was more like clarifying than actually coming out. As far as uh, shit with me goes, I never came out. It's kind of similar to um, some of my friends <clears throat> where it's just known that I'm gay as fuck and I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah, it's it's just kind of implied. My, my gayness is implied. And when I say gayness, like, because a lot of people, um, I guess outside of the LGBT community, they they don't get words like queer and, and using gay like, you're not gay though, like, um, it's kind of like, you know, a collective term for LGBT individuals um, saying like, I'm super fucking gay and I'm obviously not gay because I'm asexual, but so I had a bunch of friends who clarified. I put up a post on um, social media um, clarifying my sexual orientation and my gender. And so I'll go ahead and do that here uh, for anyone who is curious, who doesn't know. Um, and for anyone that, you know, may have an idea, but they're not sure and they don't want to ask, here you go. I am agender, which means that I do not connect with the, the concept of gender. To me, it's just, I don't, it just doesn't compute. Um, and it makes me most comfortable to be referred to as a individual rather than, you know, he, she, that shit. Like I, yeah, I, it's just what I'm comfortable with. So like in, in the post, I said that, um, you know, I'm not here to make people jump through hoops to respect me. Um, I'm not here to try to make people feel uncomfortable. I'm just trying to be comfortable. So I just want to achieve comfortable mediocrity, which is kind of the catchphrase for this channel, you know, outside of legit boring. Comfortable mediocrity just seems, it's the goal. Oh, sexual orientation. Uh, my sexual orientation is asexual. I already said it, but you know, I don't feel sexual attraction to anyone regardless of gender. Um, a lot of people in the LGBT community that are asexual, they'll do, um, they'll use the split attraction model. So it um, separates romantic attraction from sexual attraction. I didn't really um, talk about that, like romantic orientation in my post, just because I don't want to become you know, a list of words. That's not me. It's not. Um, it's just pertinent information. It's just good things to know. For me, it doesn't really affect my day-to-day -day life, like really at all. Like I don't, I never really think about it. But, you know, sexual orientation, gender, romantic orientation, all that shit, you know, it, it, it does have a place in, in everyone's lives and I don't know where I'm going with this. So, coming out. I'm never coming out. Ever. Ever, never, ever, ever. Um, if people know, then they know. If they don't, then they won't. And the way that I think about uh, dispensing information um, between different sociospheres in your life, because you know, you have you know, your friends, you have uh, people that you just kind of know, like between being really acquaintances and friends. And that's pretty much like all my 
friend group. It's it's I got I got weird thoughts about friendship and shit and intimacy, so it's it's nothing against anyone. It's just I'm I'm weird. I'm sorry. You have, you know, really intimate, really close people, then you have family, you have the, the work sociosphere that's important, you have school. And so like in each of these areas there's different clearance for you know information that you would give out i i tend to like on social media and stuff i'm really really outspoken um i kind of just like broadcast like intimate details about myself to kind of uh, kind of imitate the idea that i, I i'm very outgoing and and very engaged without actually being engaged at all with anyone. That's what I do. <laughs> and it, it works pretty well. So yeah. So for this um, whole thing about coming out, it's more uh, about my family and about um, strangers that I have some kind of relationship with outside of, you know, being friendly. I, I would never come out in the workplace. I would never come out really in school unless I was in one of those like, you know, safe space um, kind of things where like someone asks me my pronouns and like, oh yeah, they, them. And even then I'm not, I'm iffy, I'm iffy, I'm iffy. As far as my family goes, I would never come out because I don't trust my family. Um, not to say like, you know, I don't trust them, but I don't trust them. I don't. I remember one time I tried to come out to my mom as bisexual when I was a good deal younger and she dismissed me. The other time I told my cousin that I was bisexual and she told my dad and we had a big fucking discussion after that. It was a mess. So I've just decided across the board that this is just information that my family is not prepared to know. And that might be, I don't know, dismissive of their intelligence or their, their acceptance or their love of me, but they haven't proven to me that they can handle that information. So I'll keep it to myself. It doesn't hurt me to, I, like, I'm not on this, like, grand journey of acceptance by all individuals in my life. Really, all I would like to be accepted by is myself. Yeah, if I could be accepted by myself, I'd be A-OK. -okay. We're still on the road for that shit. Um, it's slow going. But, yeah, I don't give a shit whether my family or even, like, my fiancé or my brother. I don't give a shit if they don't accept me. I, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. This is fucking nasty. <laughs> oh. And I remember... One time, because I talk about my friend um, <clears throat> who's off in another state, uh, we've been best friends since I was little, like six years old, we're on the same basketball team, and um, he transitioned. Um, I'm not even entirely certain because he's been out of state for so long, uh, maybe five, maybe four years back, I'm not, not entirely certain. Please don't quote me on that. But I remember having a discussion with my mom and my cousin, the cousin whose wedding I went to a few months back. And he's, he's a police officer. He's a little bit like uh, narrow-minded, a little bit like, he's just really, it's, it's, he's stubborn as fuck and he's like super set and in the way that he thinks. And so if it goes against any kind of like established paradigm that he has going on in his head, he cannot accept it. And so he was talking about my friend being trans and he's like, why doesn't she, yes, he said she, because he's a fucking asshole. Why doesn't she just accept that she's a masculine woman? Why can't she just be okay with that? Because you, he was talking to me, you're a person who is not the typical woman and you're okay with your gender. And I was like, oh, fuck me. Ooh, ooh, whoa, whoa, you're gonna try that shit. Okay, all right. And 
I, I was internally screaming a little bit, just a little bit, because, you know, he's using my perceived acceptance of my, you know, assigned gender as ammo to poke holes in my friend's validity as a man. That's, that's fucked up. And I wish I could have been a good friend and just came out right there. I've just been like, well, I got news for you, buddy. I'm not a girl. <laughs> I couldn't do that shit. I couldn't. I'm mm, No. No. Because, like, once you open up that can of worms, it's real fucking hard to get dumb bitches back in. So I couldn't do it. And it wasn't like I was super scared or anything. It's just, that's a lot of annoying bullshit. It's really tedious. I have to do the rounds with everybody. Mm -mm, not going through it. And my friend, he he's like strong as fuck. I am so, like, I'm fucking proud of him. I'm so goddamn proud of him. And, oh, man, so proud. So fucking goddamn. But I, I don't, I'm, I don't have it in me to do that. I don't. To, to come out and let everybody know who I am. Mm -mm. I've just had bad experiences with being myself around the people that supposedly love me. I've bad experiences with that. Um, a bad experience with that with my fiance. Um, I've already talked about, you know, my thoughts about gender and um, my gender expression and how he's responded to it. I've talked about kind of being not really, I didn't really come out, but kind of being forced out, um, being uh, atheist with my Jehovah Witness family. And that was a terrible experience. Like I have a video, like if you haven't seen it, so I'll put it down right there. <laughs> uh, I've never done that before, but like, it'll be there, right there, right there. Um, but <clears throat> The, the way that I, I talk about it, it's a lot, a lot, a lot, lot more tame than it actually was because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be bitter and shit. That shit just eats you up inside. So no. Um, but it was, oh, it was a terrible experience. Kind of like this tea. It's just got this like weird, like the, the, the licorice has like this smells like, smells like sewage. Like. But it's like a, an after smell. It's like a back smell. Like it, like it, because at first it just smells like licorice, which I, and then it's like, what is with a hint of poop? Like shit. It's just licorice, and something else. Anyway, coming out for me is is never gonna happen. Um, no. And that's that's pretty much the end of it. And I, I still have uh, a ways to go as far as feeling good in my skin, but I'm, I'm getting better about it. And I've been losing weight. Um, I've been doing an all right job with that. All right. Like, not, not good by any stretch. I had some fucking jeggings today, and I thought that I was an extra large. Apparently not. And they were too fucking big. I looked like a, like an 80s mom. Like the shit was just like flapping in the wind in the front. And then in the back, it was also oh, like, it was just loose fitting and shit. And so got to get some more, some more pants. Yeah. Coming out is weird. And there's a lot of, you know, weird pressure coming from all directions where like, you yourself, you want to accept yourself. And in part of that, um, for a lot of people, not really me, but part of that is feeling accepted by others. And so you want to, you want to come out so that you could get that shit off your chest. Cause it's, I don't know. It's a thing that, um, it wears on you. And then everyone else around you, they want you to be comfortable with yourself. I mean, if they, if they give a shit about you, but at the same time, it's this weird, like NIMBY policy where not in my backyard, like it's cool with other people. Like I'll totally accept like Caitlyn Jenner, shit like that, like celebrities and shit. But when it's 
when it's too close, people get weird. You know, it's not the same for everybody, but for me, that's that's kind of how it is. Hope you guys had a fantastic coming out day. I, I it was just fucking Tuesday for me. <laughs> Pieces.